so throughout my science journey, there has been three big, huge challenges. The first thing is, as a scientist, there's a lot of troubleshooting. Troubleshooting is just a way of life for scientists. And that's a huge challenge. And it can be discouraging at times, but you have to continue and you have to cross out the things you've already tried in order to eventually figure out the thing that works. Um, another challenge that I faced was being alone in a lot of spaces. Uh, so at my, like I mentioned at Florida State, I was the first African-American to earn my PhD. And often I felt alone in that space. And although my, my PI, my advisor and the chair, they were very supportive. There were often times where I would go to a football game or something and people would ask me why I was there with the people within my department. It was as if I wasn't supposed to be in that space. They were, how did you get here? Would be the, the question they would ask. But the, I think the most trivial challenge that I had to face in my PhD or my science journey um, was it's discrimination, right? Direct discrimination, the microaggressions that come with it, um, being challenged, even though you already have your PhD, as if you're not supposed to exist in that space. Even though I have literally worked hard to get to this point and I earned being in this space, there are often a lot of times where people will challenge that, right? They'll look at my HBCU experience and say whether or not that is comparative to being at some of the, um, what we classify society-wise as the more prestigious universities and whether or not that is valid for me to have my education from an HBCU. And I think that's one that I am always evolving to become better at not battling, but fighting against and strategizing to make sure that when I represent myself and I come into a room, people understand without even seeing me or even after seeing me why I'm supposed to be here. And oft, I think I've gotten to the point now where it is very often that people realize that the credentials and all the things that come on the CV or the resume are speaking for themselves and that I've worked very hard to be here. and. You know, once you get to know me, you'll understand the asset that I bring to the team and the organization.